Hello and welcome to the Bridge Valley Update for Monday, March 1st. I know it feels a little strange, or at least for me anyway, that it's already March. It seems like the months do nothing but go by faster. But I'm ready to mark a new chapter and get ready for Green and St. Patrick's Day and all the fun activities that we have planned for you. And I'm going to go over them real quickly. I hope that you and your family are okay. After all the snow and ice storms, I know it was a difficult time for a lot of folks. I hope your power stayed on. I hope your HVAC. I hope you and your family were okay during all of this. And if you need help or resources, we definitely have ways to connect you with food pantries, things like that. Please be sure to reach out to Student Affairs if you are struggling. Now, for this video, we do have some special guests that are going to touch on some events for this week and some reoccurring activities. So without further ado, let's dig in. First, I want to mention that the Popcorn and Paint with Tammy McClanahan, the Snowy Country Roads from last week has been rescheduled for today, March 1st. So be sure to mark that on your calendar if you would like to participate with Tammy. I do want to mention two activities sponsored by our Student Government Association. There is a Step Up with SGA Challenge, and that's where you're going to be using a pedometer or your iPhone or whatever you use to track your steps. And there's going to be a competition to see who can rack up the most steps during the month of March. And if you have any questions, you can reach out to SGA via their email, and we'll pop that in the description box below. Also this month, there is the SGA Nailed It or Failed It competition. And be sure to check your email from last week for all the details. There are a couple of different categories, and it's kind of like a, a Pinterest theme competition where you see something. So one of the, the challenges is um, animal cupcakes, something like that. So if you see something on Pinterest of a unicorn themed uh, cupcake or something like that, and you say, okay, I'm going to recreate that submit your inspiration, and submit how it turned out. And this is a competition to see if you nailed it or failed it. And there's also a category more broad for art that th that themes into the fitness challenges and things like that for this month. So check out your email. It's a fun competition, and there will be prizes. Quickly, I want to turn it over to Annette Johnson, who is our recovery coach, for an overview of some of the reoccurring events on our schedule. Hey, guys. My name's Annette. I'm the recovery coach here at Bridge Valley. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update and let you know about some things that we have going on in the program. We are currently offering Karoo Mindfulness and Meditation. I teach that class. It's a four-week class, and we are starting a new class in March. So keep an eye out for those links that come through on your email and the um, weekly updates. I will have two classes going in March. Also, I want to mention we have started Smart Recovery. Um, we have Smart Recovery on Fridays at 1 p.m. And that is for anyone that's just looking to change their life. Smart stands for self-management and recovery training. Whether it be you have a substance use disorder or you just wanna become more organized, Smart has great tools to make that happen. Um, we also have Smart Recovery Friends and Family Tuesday evenings at 6 p.m. And that is for anyone that has been affected by someone else's addiction. It's good stuff, and I highly recommend you guys just stop and check it out. See if it's right for you. I hope you guys have a good semester, and hope to see you soon. Bye. Thanks, Annette. This week, there is a fun virtual health fair, and it covers a lot of bases. And so I'm going to give a quick overview of each of the days. Each day, there will be a meditation activity. So keep a lookout for that. On Monday, there's going to be a workshop about essential oils. On Tuesday, our own faculty member, Jessica Wagner, is going to be doing a healthy cooking demonstration. There's also going to be another popcorn and paint on Tuesday. On Wednesday, there's going to be some focus on mental health matters. On Thursday, there's going to be some workshops about advocating for yourself as well as a My Intent workshop. And on Friday, it's going to be Fitness Friday, and there's a free workout that you can tune into and do um, along with your peers at Bridge Valley. Um, I know that some of these uh, apps, like for example, Daily Burn, uh, there, there are very expensive apps with fitness activities on them, and this is for free. And it's a way for you to connect and be part of the Bridge Valley family as we all try to get ready for the warmer weather. 
Also this month, there's going to be activities from our Veteran and Military Affairs Office, and I'm going to turn it over to Missy Lair for details about the department as well as the March activity. Hello, everyone. I am Missy Lair, Director of Veteran and Military Affairs here at Bridge Valley. It is a great pleasure to be speaking with you today. I wanted to give you a little information on our department and what we do here. If you are a veteran, veteran dependent, or anyone in the military, please make sure that you reach out to my assistant, Tammy McClanahan, or me, as you may be entitled to receive VA educational benefits. Each veteran, dependent, or military person falls under a different chapter of the VA, and you might be entitled to receive things like payment for your tuition and fees, getting a monthly housing allowance or monthly stipend, which is sent directly to you, and even possibly getting a book stipend per each semester. We don't want you to miss out on receiving any of these benefits, so please reach out to one of us as soon as possible. I also wanted to inform you that we have veterans lounges on both the South Charleston and Montgomery campuses meant only for veterans, dependents, and military members. Some items that these lounges may have are computers, printers, microwaves, refrigerators, and coffee pots, all of which are free for you, the veteran, dependent, and military member to use. We also have a veterans club on campus, and our motto for this club is dedication to helping fellow veterans in their transition from military life to college life. We try to enrich the community and campus by having patriotic events, and we encourage social activities in unity among our veterans, faculty, and staff. Our event for the month of March is called Make March Green. This is a social media challenge event that will be displayed on our Bridge Valley Facebook page, and you have a chance to win a prize at the end of the month of March by participating. The green light symbolizes hope, renewal, and well-being. By placing this green light either in your window or on your desk, this signifies that we will not forget to show our veterans the appreciation they deserve when returning home from war. This green light establishes a visible support for their homecoming and wishing them well during their transition home. The challenge will be to take a picture of yourself with this green light and send it to either myself or Tammy McClanahan. We will then make sure it gets posted on our Facebook page and your name will be put in for a drawing at the end of the month. The drawing will be for a gift card for either restaurant or gas card. Please remember that Bridge Valley is a military friendly school where you will find the support you will need to successfully complete your education. We are here to assist you in making your transition back to school a positive one. Again, please reach out to Tammy or myself if you think you might be eligible to receive these benefits. Thanks again, and we hope to see you soon. Thanks, Missy. We're going to close this video with Spencer Poling. She is also participating in the virtual health fair this week, so you'll see her and activities there, and she's going to give you more information about our accessibility services. Hi, my name is Spencer Poling, and I'm the Director of Accessibility and Support Services within the Student Services Division at Bridge Valley. My main role on campus is to make sure that students who have documented disabilities receive the accommodations they have requested in the classroom. Some documented disabilities that I have worked with are ADHD, learning disabilities, dyslexia, deaf, hard of hearing, blindness or low vision, depression or anxiety, or a medical or physical disability. I also can work with temporary disabilities if you find yourself in that situation throughout the semester. Some accommodations I can provide for these students are extended test time, alternate testing locations, audio recorders for the class lectures, a note taker, I also can help with evacuation assistance if you need an interpreter or a hearing device within the classroom and anything else that you might have used in the past. We also accept IEPs or 504 plans as long as they are dated within the last five years for your documentation, as well as a letter from a licensed healthcare professional. If you have any questions at all or feel that you might qualify for our services, please reach out to me at 304-205-6725 or you can email me at spencer.poling, P-O-L-I-N-G, at bridgevalley.edu. Thanks, Spencer. 
Thank you for tuning in this week. Be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and give us a like. I hope you have a great week and I will see you next time.